All right, we are in Vegas. First time ever, we're gonna go see uh, the SEMA show. I think I know that guy. Let's stick their head on in one of these. It's <laughs> a muffler here. Yes, that's a muffler. Feel about this car is that it's all carbon fiber. Very rare. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that is terrible. It's, what are you gonna do something? So that is terrible. If you're gonna do something, you gotta. It needs to blend right into the body. That's what he's trying to say. Is there's an all carbon fiber Z car over there? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Yeah, the only man could turn that thing on is this guy right here. I ain't gonna. Here, let me hold the other part of the chassis at the same time. <laughs> yes, but make sure he lick it first. In the world, of, what is this, man? This is a Volkswagen. It looks well. If it had door handles, I could tell you the year, but. Why? Probably. Yeah, I know. The question is why? It's an oval window. It's an oval window. Yeah, and I don't know if it's a legit oval window. But. Uh, oh. yeah. Ah, look at this. This is from my bus. The same molding or similar molding. The uh, Chevy booth. As you guys know, Chevy is the only American company that's actually building legit electric cars. Right? They have the Bolt that uh, my wife drives, and then they have the Bolt. And here they have kind of like a prototype, kind of like a you know unique vehicle. It's a Camaro concept car with 200, with dual 250 kilowatt inverters and motors. So this should be able to do about 600 horsepower. 500 kilowatt, right? So, um, it's pretty crazy. So what do you think of this system? I mean, like... It's super clean. I love... Uh, Pat's got some really cool connectors in here. Yeah, I like... Yeah, the connectors are badass. They're amped and all stuff. I recognize it, you know? Um, but I wish, like, everything we did was... was Billet and anodized like this, you know? Super, super clean and stuff. Total race, you know? Yeah, it's a nine second car. Nine seconds? Yeah, nine seconds and four miles. Great. I mean, two, two Reinhardt 250s. That's yeah. like 650 horsepower. So yeah. It's a lot of horsepower. And it's electric too, so it's like... Yeah, uh, 96? Yeah, 96 S, I think. Yeah. That's kind of where these max out. They like to do like 420 volt at the very highest. That's about it. So that's about the standard that is starting to appear. Right? That's kind of the yeah, standard that every like other industry, car. That's the industry yeah. standard 96. 96 cells in series, so it's like 400 volts. Uh -huh. Fully, fully yeah. charged. Where, where pedal down 350 uh, four or five fully charged right now. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you for and that's and that's funny because the Remy's, I mean the Reinhardt's will do like 420 fully charged, you know? 420. 420, yeah. So you can really go to 97 or maybe 98. You guys do a lot of cool stuff. You know what little, this box is? That it's it's just so that you can charge. So you pull that out and that's where the charger plugs in. Oh no kidding. Ah. No onboard charge. You know what how fast you guys charge this? It's a big charger? It's thirty it's over there, it's eight hundred it's an eight hundred volt, thirty kilowatt. Thirty charger. That's a big charger. Eight hundred volt. Oh, yeah. It charges that, it yeah, full eight hundred volts. Oh well, this is eight hundred volts. Yes, not ninety six. No, not ninety six S. No, it's a one P one ninety six. So each box Yeah, so each box has forty eight cells. Wow. So 200 volts, they're yep. about 4 volts at, you know, full. 800 charge. volts. So there's 
eight boxes. Four boxes, Four 200 boxes. volts per box. Oh yeah, you're right, yeah. So, it, and we did it so modular, so you could, you know, though? depending on what it goes. So in this, we have two in the trunk and then two in the back seat. Yeah. So they end up being about 10 by 10 by 20. Do you know how many kilowatt hour? It's 32. It's 32? Okay. Yeah. okay. So it's got, kilowatt. we built the BMS into the box. Yeah. So it's got four um, four boards in the in there for BMS. So we've got you know every cell. Who's BMS? I forget. So HDS Hybrid Design Systems. If you've heard oh, of them. Oh, they do their own BMS. Yeah, we worked with them and they did the integration for us. So okay. we've did we did a thermistor every third cell. Yeah. And oh, then wow. every cell, and then we did our own um, the HUD. We did our own HUD. I don't know if you saw. So we've got a GUI in the car, so you can I see the. There, yeah. yeah. So we get the voltage of every cell, and then every third temperature yeah. and then it wow. monitors and then this thing ties into the BMS when it charges yeah. to do cell balancing. Yeah, for charging, yeah. Are, are you guys using the LG Chem like, pouches? Like no, the, no, or? it's an X-Alt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, so this is not a 96S battery, this is a 196S battery, 800 volts, it's a 32 kilowatt hour battery uh, in case in this billet stuff. All right, here we go. This is the interior. Check that out. This is the battery monitor. It shows you each one of the four modules, and it shows you the individual uh, level, like uh, state of charge level for uh, each cell. And then I think that line in the bottom, the red line, is the temperature. Every three cells has a thermistor in there. Uh, so check it out, 97% state of charge, 802 volts. <laughs> That's so crazy. I want a, a battery meter like that. That's what I want. All right, so for all you guys that have ever said, when is the crate motor, the electric crate motor gonna be available? I think these guys are working on it. I think Chevrolet is going to be the one that will bring the electric crate motor to the market. And here's, you know, at least the prototype. Here's the concept car that they're using. They're using some of the EV West parts. That's pretty cool. Ties it all together. Yeah, we all, you know? all of us are over there like, yes, thank you. Well, That's we cool. were talking about what to put in there, and we're like, yeah. that just ties it all together yeah, with where we're heading. Yeah, you know? totally does. Oh. Well, hey. See it on the small scale oh, first. So cool. Good to meet you guys. Nice meet you too, man. Yeah. Right, so it turns out there is a bus. Oh. All right, and we finally gotten to the Icon Electric Derelict. Let's go check it out. <laughs> what, what motor is that? Um, 150s, right? And Tesla modules? Inside? Yeah. There's some on the side. Yeah. So it sits in like a T shape, you said. Right, time for me to geek out a little bit. I am a fan of the uh, Roadkill guys, and this is the blasphemy car that is not supposed to have the Hemi motor on it, but it does. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and here's the F bomb. I guess this car is famous because of a movie. There wasn't this. Uh, this was like on in 60 seconds or something. Yep. Yeah, this is an awesome car. It's funny because you always see, you always you always see Freiburger with like all these like trashy cars, like you know. Yeah. But he actually owns really nice cars, like this one. This is a legit car. This is a very nice car. What's that? And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my SEMA 2018. Thank you for watching, uh, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And with that, I'll leave you with a few public reactions to this 70s Porsche 911 conversion to an electric car using a Tesla motor.
got this bad. Hey Matt, what's the drive train? It was a contract. It was a contract. Yeah. Another contract right here. Oh, Bream is down in it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's the best he's hit all night! <laughs>